Uh, nice weather for it, though. Uh, putting the boo in beautiful. No, yeah, oh, that's, that's, he's had better, but that's not bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, we'll hold on to the heat for one more day, Kelly. Okay, all right. And then we cool off into like the weekend. Fall? Yeah, getting back to fall for the weekend. Highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s. That's around the corner. And the driver of that's a cold front here off to the west. Some spotty showers with it. Nice to see a little bit of rain on the horizon. I wish we had more coming. Not a lot of that's going to hold together, but it's the best shot we've had in over four weeks now. Satellite and radars dry overhead. Any trick or treat hours, if you're just about to head out the door, we're in good shape. Let's get to tomorrow morning by 7 a.m. on Friday. Broken clouds, readings near 70, still very warm. That chance of drizzle and light rain works its way in 8, 9, into 10. Not for everybody, but the lucky few that see showers could end a uh, four week streak. We need this to hit the airport to end our stretch of dry days. It'll be close, but pretty spotty. Speaking of Friday, maybe you got some leaves starting to pile up. A lot of leaves have been dropping over the past couple of days with temperatures all over the place. Spotty rain by 11, by 2 into 5 p.m. Readings in the mid 70s. Getting windy, gusts up to 25 miles per hour. I say that so if you pile the leaves, bag them quick or they're going to go flying. You got to start over. Wind gust forecast throughout the day is near 30 miles per hour in the morning. Bigger vehicles will feel that out on the road. A dip by the afternoon, but still pretty strong. And then mid 20s through 8, 9 into 10 p.m. Winds out of the south here on Futurecast through 11. As we go overnight and into the morning hours, temperatures stay mild. Our rain chance showing up here on Futurecast. Look at how spotty it is. This is a cold front that comes through. Light rain with that. A lucky few will get some showers. It will be far from what we need. Drought conditions growing a bit, but we'll stay dry into Saturday. Here's the latest drought monitor. Uh, severe drought on the eastern shore up to Cecil County. Moderate drought spreading out across the state. We're still okay here in the metro, but unless we get some significant rain soon, that's going to grow, and I don't have much in the way of rain in the seven-day forecast. Our only shot's Friday morning. Cooler for the weekend, a reminder that we fall back, gaining an hour, sunrise at 6.30, sunset at 5 p.m. Near mid-70s by Tuesday and Wednesday, that could push a record high as we get close to 80. That would be the record on Wednesday. And then upper 60s into Thursday, partly cloudy skies there, and once you know it, staying dry.